Tonight, police are looking for the man who they say was behind the wheel of a car that hit and killed a runner. The woman died while taking part in the annual Seven Hills Run this morning. Local 12's Brad Underwood sp spoke to a woman who says she is still very shaken by what she saw. Tire marks on the sidewalk along Dorchester Avenue remain hours after police say 57-year-old Catherine Chatfield was struck by this Chrysler 300 while she was running. Chatfield was taken to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center where she died from her injuries. The fatal hit and run happened just outside the home of Lily Ann Smith Knox. When she heard the crash, she came outside. When I turned to my right, I saw a group of people and a lady laying on the ground lifeless. And uh, her friends were around her frantically. They looked like they were in shock. Smith Knox says she saw the driver get out and run away. He was last seen by witnesses running east on Dorchester. Smith Knox then went to help. She had blood coming from the back of her head, out of her ears, and um, out of her nose. And she uh, wasn't moaning or anything. She was just, you could tell she was lifeless. Real sad. Real sad. The Seven Hills Run is 13.2 miles through the heart of the city, running up and down hills from north and south Fairmount all the way to Mount Adams. The run is sponsored by the city. City Manager Harry Black and Mayor John Cranley both offered public condolences to the family Sunday afternoon. The event rules state all runners must run on sidewalks where available. Here, it was available and Chatfield was running by the rules. Her friends were uh, literally distraught because they had to be feet away from her. They were running in packs. And on this hill, they do a lot of marathons and uh, the runners are real careful. Chatfield was a member of the House of Run and Try. The running group plans to hold a memorial run for her on Tuesday. In Mount Auburn, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And you saw the car there. Police say they are looking into the owner of that car, but we don't have any word on what they may have found. And police say the suspect is in his 20s and was last seen wearing a blue plaid shirt and blue pants with light colored stripes. If you know anything about the suspect or that car, call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040.